Hello, hello, Scorpio. Welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to try to find out what is the deep, dark truth. We're going to try to figure out any messages that want to come through for you. I have already meditated on your cards. Um, we did have a couple of pop-ups, which were actually very good, the Empress and the Magician. So we will see if those come out for you again in the reading. June, <clears throat> June readings are posted. They were posted this morning. Those will run between June 1 and June 15th. It is a sneak peek at things that might come up for you. Check those out. Please subscribe to the channel as it helps it grow. By the way, I post messages daily. There are 8 billion people in this world. Everybody can use a message. I post every single day except on the weekends, but I do post twice a month, four year, two monthlies. Okay, here we go. Please, universal energy, spirit, guides, and ancestors. Please show me any messages that want to come through. Oh, my God, my little bracelet. Look at this. She's a little goddess. Why? Because she's, she's on her spiritual ascension. Please, universal energies, please let some messages come through for Scorpio. I need two more cards for Scorpio. Please, universal energies. Please, anything that we need to see that Scorpio does not see right now. Come on, two more. I will clarify. Okay, here we go. Okay, you got three. I'll take those. <clears throat> we will clarify all the cards as well. This was the first one that came out. Scorpio, you are looking forward to some celebrations. You are looking forward to working hard and celebrating with your friends and family. This was the second one that came out. I will turn these over in the order that they fell out. Scorpio, you are bored of life. You don't see progression for you. You are crying into your cups. You don't even see that somebody is offering you a new cup of love. So you are too blinded by the things that you have lost that you are not seeing the things that are right in front of you. There's a cup of love being offered to you. You don't see it because you're crying about the three cups that you lost. Please don't kill the messenger. I am only the messenger. I just bring you messages. And if this is not for you, then <laughs> it's not for you. You have the tower. Something is coming apart in your life as you look at it crumble. You are currently in hermit mode. You are looking for some light at the ends of the tunnel. You might be lost. You might be confused. There might be a decision that you need to make. There might be plans that you are making. You're going to make those plans. If you are not making plans yet, you will be making plans probably after this video. <laughs> There's a lot of hope and guidance that you're looking for. You're healing from something. You're healing from something that left you in a bad way. You are trying to find balance and you are recovering. Either you or someone was honest about something. Someone was honest or you were honest. <clears throat> we will clarify everything. Do not leave before the reading is over. Oh my word. Look at this. Beautiful. And it just doesn't even want to pick itself up. If you are dragging yourself through this, you can't get this. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is an opportunity to... And a love opportunity that comes in for you. If you are not, you know, or this is what you want. You want a love of cup, you know, a cup of love. However, if you're taking a leap. 
if someone left you behind over this tower moment, you are ready to depart. Look at her. Look at her. Look at the power that she has. She is so confident in herself that she is blindfolded and she's about to take a fucking new journey. She doesn't care about anything or anybody. She is ready for a new adventure. She is ready for love. And let me tell you, you have a lot of opportunities coming your way. You have a lot of possibilities. When we remove ourselves from dangerous situations, doors begin to open. If you've been wondering why your doors were closed, it was for a reason. It was because you chose the wrong cup of love. We're going to clarify this. We're going to clarify those. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Everybody's been through a journey. Everybody's been in dark truth. Everybody's hold secrets and lies and things, you know? Why, we're going to go to the big card. Why is the tower here? Okay. The tower was here. You know why? Because you were probably in a third-party situation. You were... In a situation where somebody was giving to you, you were giving to two people, two people were giving to you, it could be a mix of shit. And that's what caused the tower moment. Things that are that are developed in, three, in these three-party situations, even though I don't see it here, I can kind of see it. You know, this is a reading that people have been having now for like, like the last two weeks. And this is leading up to that. This tower moment is coming. You are going to free yourself from this agony that you are going through. From all this crying inside your cups. Why is the hermit here? You went into self-isolation. You went into self-isolation because you felt that you might not have been worthy of this. This was only a lesson. Look, this, was, this relationship that you have left that has departed from you this situation was filled with a lot of problems it was filled with more than two people it was filled with lots of conflicts lots of problems you needed to defend yourself against this person constantly this is the same reading that i've been reading for weeks now for two weeks and you had to go into self-isolation so that you can see the truth. Because you, you know, when we go into self-isolation to try to find light at the end of the tunnel, is because we're finally seeing something. We're finally open up, opening up our eyes and looking at the stars shining in front of us. If we are in self-isolation, we don't see anything. We're just looking. But there's light for you at the end of the tunnel. Why is the two of wands here? <clears throat> you're starting to make plans. You're starting to, you're determined. You're determined to shine. You are determined to shine despite the odds. You're making plans to find a new lover. You're making plans to have a new beginning with someone. This is why, this is why this, this was a three-party situation that ended and now you are manifesting a new beginning with someone. This, that relationship brought you a lot of grief. Look, a lot of tears, a lot of regrets, a lot of sad moments, a lot of fighting, a lot of competing, a lot of defending yourself. It was a cup that you chose that was poisonous. Why is the star here? I don't see the devil here, but I won't be surprised if it, if it shows up. I'm going to put this back because I don't want so many. Why is the star here? Why is the star here for Scorpio? Scorpio. What did I say? What did I just say? This was a three-party situation. This person left you heartbroken. It, they left you stabbed. They stabbed your heart. If you were part of this three-party situation and you knew about it, this is why. You know, this person could have made you empty promises and they just never really kept them up. And three-party situations don't start. This is why, look. Look at this. 
three-party situations lead to this. This is disaster. This is things falling apart. Why? Because you can't have three people in a connection. You cannot live with three people in a connection. It is impossible. This is why the tower moment came. And things like that, you know, three-party situations fall apart. They literally, oof, they literally fall apart. I'm taking those and putting these back. High Priestess, you went within. You went within and you saw the truth for what it was. And Lord knows you are carrying every strength of you that you need to stay on this foundation. Why is the fool here? You're finally realizing that, if you haven't realized it yet, you are finally realizing that it's time to take a different journey. It is time to take a brand new path. Your tower has crumbled to the ground and it takes a long time to rebuild it. And usually when a tower falls is because it was built on a very bad foundation. And look, you've made a choice. You've made a choice that you are not going to look to the back anymore. You're not looking that way anymore. You've made a choice. You've made a choice to take this leap of faith and you are so confident in yourself that you're blindfolded moving forward. Why? Because you're, you are a person who is determined to see the truth for what it is and you are no longer doing that. Wow. So, okay. One, one last one. Okay. So we'll see what we have here. Okay. We have the eight of pentacles. I don't know if this was a financial situation. This three-party situation contained finances in it. This three-party situation could have been giving you money. But why is it here? This, this person, that's what they gave you. They fed you. They paid the rent. They did all these things for you while they had you in a three-party situation. King of Wands. This man is off to find a new beginning. A new passionate beginning with someone else. Um, that kind of wraps up your reading. I just want to let you know that June readings are posted. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it helps the channel grow. I hope that this was able to give you some clarity. Please enjoy the rest of your day and namaste.